<laughs> the lovely Mrs. Fisher. You uh, are, you're hot. Thank you. I'd like thank to you. take you home. <laughs> well, it might just happen. Uh. Carrie Underwood and Mike Fisher are total relationship goals, and we have the proof. From their unbreakable bond and total devotion to each other to their love for their family, these two have quite the love story. The duo first met in 2008 after reportedly being set up by the American Idol alum's bassist. But they had one problem. They lived in different countries with Mike in Canada and Carrie in the US. Mike and Carrie seemed to have sparks fly because a couple of months later they had their first real date on New Year's Eve. And it sounds like it was right out of a fairy tale because they shared their first kiss as the clock struck midnight. We were in front of people and he's not a big PDA guy. I figured I'll go for it because he can't leave me hanging, right? So I made him kiss me in public, she told Taste of Country in 2012. It seems that despite living far away from each other, they made things work. The couple got engaged in 2009 and tied the knot after almost two years of long distance dating in July 2010. After years of living apart, NHL star Fisher got traded to the Nashville Predators in 2011, and they finally got to move in together. At the 2012 American Music Awards, there was a super sweet moment on the red carpet where Mike grabbed the Axis Hollywood mic and interviewed his wife. So what are you, what are you wearing tonight? Um, this is Abed Mahfouz. How about yourself? Okay. Um, mostly John Barbados. Oh, very nice. Yeah, thanks for asking me. That's the first time I've ever been asked that. Really? And I hear you are performing tonight? I am. Two yep. Black Cadillacs. And that is your new single? Yes. Oh, awesome. Okay. You, you probably never heard it. No, you no. I'm know. looking forward to hearing that tonight. Yeah. Um, well, thanks for stopping by. Anything else you'd like that's to... That's all you got? Yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> You're terrible. I thought it was doing well. You're horrible. It was awful. What else? You're up for... Interview. Sorry, you're up for four, four awards two tonight. Awards. Oh, two. Okay, sorry. Okay. Should be four. Oh. So what are they? Um, a female country singer yeah. and um, album, country album. Oh, okay, right. Awesome. And that's a Blown Away album. Yes, it is. Okay, awesome. Well, good luck with that. Thank you. <laughs> That same year, they spoke to Oprah about the importance of faith in their relationship. Well, that's a huge role. And when I met Carrie, and that was Sarah's potential mate, and and you know that that became an instant connection because I think we're all we're very similar. Um, we both kind of you know grew up in Christian families, and we kind of experienced life, and then all of a sudden, you know, it's fame, and and uh, we were able to connect in kind of different situations, and and then spiritually, we were able to kind of be on the same page and understood each other and, mm -hmm. and that was part of the obviously connection we had and, and uh, you know now it's you know, it's a big part of our marriage for sure. Three years of wedded bliss and more happy news on the way. Carrie announced in September 2014 that they were expecting a baby, posting a photo with her dogs wearing shirts that say they're going to be a big brother and sister. In honor of Labor Day, Ace and Penny would like to make an announcement. Their parents couldn't be happier, the caption reads. In February 2015, they welcomed their son Isaiah. The Grammy winner announced the news on Twitter, sharing a photo and writing, tiny hands and tiny feet. God has blessed us with an amazing gift. Isaiah Michael Fisher, born February 27th. In 2020, Carrie and Mike spoke out about what it was like when they first became parents. I remember uh, delivery room, I went with Isaiah after he'd just been born and I was just me and Isaiah it was just emotional as could be just thinking about now having a responsibility and being a dad and always looking forward to that and just praying for him and greatest just one of the greatest gifts ever and it kind of made me realize how much you know God loves us and um, the sacrifice you made and um, yeah, the greatest thing I want for my son is to realize like, a real relationship with God. And at that moment, it just kind of became real. But... You're going to cry. Then I'm going to cry. cry. I cry easy. <laughs> <laughs> the first time, first time I held Isaiah, I thought, what did we do? What is this? In 2017, the Love Wins singer gushed to Axis Hollywood about Isaiah. Well, Isaiah is very, I mean, he's, he's, I think he's got both in him. He's a very physical toddler. Like he, he's just running, climbing, jumping off things and constantly, I feel like trying to hurt himself. 
um, <laughs> to be honest. And um, but he also he loves music. He loves to sing. I feel like he learns things very quickly when he can sing them. I feel like he already pretty much knows his ABCs, and yeah. he's not even two yet. So I'm like, I know I'm doting on my child now, <laughs> but um, I feel like he's got both of us in him. The couple welcomed their second child, a son named Jacob, in January 2019. The country singer posted about the sweet news on Instagram, sharing a couple of photos and writing, Jacob Brian Fisher entered the world in the wee hours of the morning on Monday. His mom, dad, and big brother couldn't be happier for God to trust them with taking care of this little miracle. Our hearts are full, our eyes are tired, and our lives are forever changed. Life is good. In 2020, they released a docu-series called God and Country, where they got candid about their relationship. We learn from each other and we have spirited discussions about things that we disagree on, but at the end of the day, we love each other very much. And Well, and that's where our faith comes in yeah. too. I think it, it gives us a kind of a, a center ground where, where that's the most important thing in anything. And then your differences, if they're rooted in that, I know your heart, you know my heart, there's, there's always a way. In July 2020, the couple celebrated their 10-year wedding anniversary, and Carrie penned an adorable message to her man. She shared a throwback photo of when they were kids writing, Hey you two crazy kids, believe it or not, someday you both will become slightly less awkward. You'll grow up to have pretty cool jobs, you'll meet backstage at some girl's concert, fall in love, get married, have two amazing boys, and live happily ever after. These past 10 years have been pretty incredible with you at mfisher1212. Here's to many, many more without the bowl cuts. I love you and I thank the good Lord that he brought those two kids together. Happy anniversary. The couple are celebrating 10 years of marriage and based on their unbreakable bond, total devotion to each other and their family, these are the reasons why Carrie Underwood and Mike Fisher are total relationship goals.